Tudin gives it to Tessier. Tessier behind the net, had Gustafson in the low slot. Tessier is hit hard against the boards. There's going to be a penalty in Tudin. And there's going to be a scrap for sure. What a dirty play that was. Tessier with his back, it just got cross-checked in the lower back, and he is obviously hurt. Jeff Keach out there in a hurry to tend to Dan Tessier, and he looked like he buckled his knees as he was hit at the same moment. Well, that's what happens with Peter when you get the stick in the lower part of the back. The, the idea on the cross check is you can get away with it if you push down. Watch what he does. He's getting down, and he, he tries to push him down, but it's that three feet from the boards thing, right? That's a very dangerous area to be. And the penalty was called right away by Pat Smola. And you can just hear it. You see Dan Tudin stepping in to protect his center. As Tudin will get a penalty, I'm sure, for jumping in after the fact. And Teshe is still down. He hasn't moved. And you know, back injuries, Peter, are one of the most dangerous injuries any player can have. And I don't think, I don't think Hart's had any intention of hurting him. I think what he did is he tried to push down on the lower part of the back, but he also gave him a heck of a shot. And instead of pushing down, he cross-checked him down. And that's the difference. And you saw the way Dan Tessier hit. It's a timing thing. If he's if he's six inches closer to the board, that doesn't happen. We're going to take a look at it again here, Neil. As you see Jeff Keach talking to Dan Teste, and they want to make sure about this one. Take a close look, folks. It's right off to the right. Here it comes. See how he got him? He just he got the fist into the lower back, and it was just he gave the cross check in, and Teste got just drilled into the boards. And it's just, it's the way he got hit. It's the, the back just hyperextends itself, and you end up being bent over in an unnatural fashion going backwards like that. And you just, you can strain just about every single muscle in there. I'm sure it's a muscle injury. It's not an impact injury. It's a stretch or a tear type situation. Ryan Barnes leads his team in penalty minutes coming into this game with 101 penalties. And there is what the, the clock has up. Five minutes for Barnes. And a couple up there for Dan Tudin. And there might be more than that. There might be a couple of minors assessed. Tudin yeah. might have two minors. And there might be a minor penalty to Barnes as well. I'm not really sure. Barnes has been sent from the uh, from the surface. So I think he's got a game as well. With 15 minutes left in this period. It, you, you can only be a game misconduct. 10 minute misconduct, he'd still be in here. So Pat Smola doesn't want any of that kind of play. And kudos to Pat Smola for that. But it's unfortunate for St. Mike's because Barnes is one of their better players. And a guy like that doesn't really need to do anything like this. So I'm kind of surprised. I think it was, again, it's just the timing and the position of it. I mean, I know the fans watching Toronto, they know Barnes. He's not a dirty player by nature. So I'm really surprised by that play. But Dan Teste has been on fire. And now with two players for Ottawa leaving the game, Lance Galbraith early or about halfway through the first period, with an ejection, and that's there's Lance right there helping out. He's helping his buddy Dan Tessi into the dressing room. We we'll get the penalties. A five minute major for checking from behind, five minutes for fighting, and a game misconduct. To the 67th, number 17, Dan Tudin, two minutes for instigating, five minutes for fighting, and a 10 minute misconduct. Time of the penalties, 424. Well, the fans here don't like the call, but you know what, Peter? I do. I think that's a good call to make. The, game, the 10 minute misconduct, I'm kind of surprised about, unless maybe it was something said by Tudin. But the instigator penalty, can't can't argue with that. I mean, he, he jumped all over Barnes when Barnes was looking down at Tessier. So instigator penalty, five minutes for fighting each, and the major for checking from behind with the stick in the lower back. Those are good calls, Peter. And more importantly, as the game goes on, Toronto just lost a third of what has been the best line here tonight in, in Barnes. But by the same token, you're making same similar sacrifice as Dan Tessier is gone for the 67. So you're losing players of equal caliber at this point. And the way Dan...